Welcome back to the channel everyone and thanks for joining me on another little stealthy adventure. This week we're going to be stealth camping in the Bolingo. But we're going to be doing a little bit different. We're going to be trying the whole van life for 24 hours. So what does that mean? That means until 22 minutes past 7 tomorrow night, Monday the 16th, so Tuesday the 17th, we have to live out of this van. We cannot use home for supplies, bathroom breaks, washing, and obviously sleeping. So everything we have to do has to be on the road the way a van lifer would do. So we can use 24 hour gyms to wash, we can use supermarkets to go to the toilet and get supplies. And we had to find a nice little stealthy park up where it doesn't arouse too much suspicion. But I think the first thing we're going to do here is go get some supplies because I've just finished work and I'm starving. So I think we'll go to Asda and get what supplies we need. Okay, that's dinner organised, so we just need to find somewhere to go and um, do a bit of chefing. And I think I know just the place. Okay, so it's about 10 past 8 now. The sign on the entrance said this car park shuts at half 9. So we've an hour and 20 minutes to get our food made and um, get the van into sleep mode before we head to the next destination to actually spend the night but let's get the steak sizzling something like the clown I think Get the stick on the go. Look at that bad boy. I think what I'll do is we'll just cook this as like a one pan sort of meal. Have the steak to one side, have the mash to the other, see if we start in another pot. Yeah, we'll sort it when I win. She's a good one. Some pink Himalayan salt. A little bit of cayenne. and cremate it the way I like it. And voila, dinner is served. Steak, mash, avocado and onions. Fit for a king. Let's try some of this delicious steak. Delicious. 
delicious. I swear, I think I'm going to see now because I just keep forgetting things constantly. That was first class, by the way. So, I forgot to get the dessert when I was in Asda. I was so hungry, I couldn't wait to get stuck into that. I forgot to even use the bloody sauce, well, it was still delicious. Right, the next plan was to do the washing up in our nifty little new bowl. What else did I forget? I forgot to get washing up liquid and a sponge in Asda as well. So the washing up is going to wait till the morning. But I had to go in and get some from Asda anyway for breakfast. So I must remember to get washing up liquid and a sponge in the morning. So we can wash that pan to cook our bacon in the morning for our breakfast. So I'll give it a bit of a wipe down with wipes and um, put it to the side. There's no way the wipes are going to clean that so put that in a plastic bag. And we'll get this little bus in sleep mode and we'll get the hell out of here. Is this playing hard to get? Oh, I know what it is. My work boots are stopping the seat going down. There we go. That's us now. There we go, that's bed set up. It's usually a lot easier than that. I made that look hard. But I might try and get a couple of thumbnails now and then we'll get out of here. It's um, 10 past nine. So we should probably think about trying to find somewhere to sleep now. I'm wondering, does this have any AMPR cameras in here? I can see lots of cameras, but I wonder are any of them the ANPR that take your number plate and um, charge you if you've been here over three hours? CCT in operation, CC red zone. Um, keep your eyes peeled for signs, folks that say anything about no overnight staying, limited time parking. There's some guy with a canoe on his top of his van. Wonder is he camping there? Or is he just in Nando's? You're just going to have to excuse the, the squeaky clutch as usual folks. I still haven't got that fixed. I got a new axle for it into the van. But I still haven't got my clutch fixed. This retail park was one of the spots I had in mind. But I think come the early hours of the morning, this place will be deserted. So I think I'll go a bit further afield on the spot number two. This here was another spot I thought of. There's a sign there, what's that say? Let's see it's faded. This is the problem with boy racers in here. There's a sign just on that post there, but I can't make out what it says. It's 
fear it. That one is a possible. But um, it's early yet, it's, it's not even half nine, so have an hour we look and see if I can find one more spot and um, I think I'll pick from the three. The first one I think is out. I think it will be, you know, just, it'll be a deserted and uh, like I say, we'll stick out with a sore thumb. That one there, yes, there will be boy racers messing around in there all night, but come, come early hours, they'll be in their bed, so we'll have it to ourselves. We'll check out one more spot. See if we can find one more spot and we'll, we'll make our decision. Check this sign here, see what it says. Main gates close at 10. Doesn't see anything about that car park there. That means just down in there, there's no gate on here. Okay, so we looked at a few spots there, and I think we're going to go with spot number two. The one with the boy racers will be entertain us tonight. A bit of uh, donut. We'll see. It's sort of the side on a middle spot. In between, um, like a a higher lorry thing here and somebody else's car. So hopefully that's the right choice. But um right I'm getting tired so I want to get in here and wind down. So I'm just about to get into the back. And this guy's just pulled right up in front of me. What the hell's he doing? What possible reason could he have? Look where he's parked, he's right up against that car. You know what it is? Um, he must be leaving his girlfriend off to pick her car up because she's just getting to it there, that silver car I just showed you a minute ago on this side. Um, so as soon as them two cars go, we'll get in then. And at last folks, we can uh, finally Settle down a bit for the night. Cameras are live. Gives us a bit of a heads up what's going on. Um, front. No, sorry. That one's front, that one's behind. That's looking at the driver's side. Gives us a bit of a heads up by the night, the passenger side, too. I'll we'll keep her over to the driver's side because I can look out the window here for the, the passenger side. Something like that should do nicely. Let's see if we can get a bit of entertainment on the go here. Ten thirty. I'm settling nicely here. Dairy girls on. Chill out. Cameras keeping a wee eye for me. So I think what we'll do is if anything kicks off in this car park. Um, I'll have this camera on the shot for you. Try and capture some content. But if not, we will um, be back in the morning for a nice cup of coffee and then we'll, we'll shoot on down to Asda. Get some for breakfast and um, do the needful. Anything happens, I'll bring you back. If not, I'll see you in the morning.
half one in the morning. I cutting either hedges or grass or stripping. Frag me he does it at half one in the morning. Can you hear that? Ridiculous. Eleven minutes past eight. Such a lion for me. Somebody has just pulled me up and beside me there. Um, right. Get up, pee in a ball, make a coffee, go to Asda and um, empty the tank and see if we get something for breakfast. But as for last night, the sleep, I think I captured the, the noise of people, which I can only assume was road workers, motorway workers or something like that, trimming the trees or the grass along the side of it. I, I don't know what that was. The only thing I can think of is They steamed up in here, but I think you can see that the guy just flew right past me there. Limbo tent, brilliant. Completely stealth in here. But yeah, what was I saying? The only thing I can assume that was is they had to cut that sort of grass and those sort of hedges and trees, however, at in the early hours of the morning when the motorway isn't busy, or the slip road isn't busy. I don't know. But hopefully it's caught a wee bit of sound on the camera, but it went on for about about an hour. It's about half two, about half, yeah. First woke me round half one. It'll be on the video anyway. But what coffee have we got? Nothing very fancy. Just Nescafe, three and one. But they are so handy for van life and somebody else in beside me now. Uh, no milk. Required, everything's all one container, you know, nice and handy. Fish by splash. So we're having that. And that'll give us a wee kickstart for the day we need. Brush my teeth while that's boiling. You know, just general day to day things are. You know, a wee bit more of a challenge in a wee confined space like this, especially because I don't have running water or a disposal of water. I sort of have to make places where I can dispose of it. We have serious steam issues. But by the time I get this coffee in me, it should be um, clear. That's another thing too. I'm just going to blabber on through this video, so it's going to be one of those videos where uh, I'm just going to be talking a lot of nonsense to it, so prepare yourself for that. But if I was going to do multiple, if I was going to make this more a full-time van life vehicle, that would be something that would have to address the, the condensation. 
at the minute what I do is I just have two window flickers you can just see it up at the top of your screen there just there and I leave that down about half an inch you know you probably get deeper wind deflectors that you could could leave down more because I would hide the top of the window so people wouldn't know it was open but um, I have the thing I put in a roof vent in and um, stop because that especially over here in Northern Ireland it's very you know it's hu very humid I slept my head up this side last night for the fact I think we're on a little bit of a slope but not only that got a new axle put into this or a new subframe, whatever you want to call it, I'm not a mechanic and I'm going to have to bring it back because it's sitting very low at the back, it looks like it's lowered, back tyres are tucking about an inch up into the, the sills or whatever you call that, so she's already on a slope and then the van's at a slope so all the blood is going to my head, so lay that way, let's, first time I've ever done that. In future, I need to make sure and um, say it every day. Even when I go camping in the tent, I just fire anywhere, and then it's always on a slope or always on top of something. Or it's always uncomfortable. I just rough it. And these off. That was a great help to me last night. That um, I guess a barrier to, to the passenger side for me. Back in good old Asda. Um, van lifers could not um, survive without these big supermarket chains. Because they offer up so much. They give you your toilet facilities. They give you somewhere to park up. I have camped here before. Um, you can park up here, you can cook in here and then go and park in the lay-by if you want to more discreet. And budget food. And they're everywhere. I was watching um, By The Curb. I watch By The Curb, I like his channel. I do watch a lot of van life channels, but I like his. I know his is more sort of steering. It's not so much van life anymore. It's more like sort of his adventures, the things he's up to. But anyway, I'm going off the subject. He um, said something interesting. And he's right, if you're going to be urban stealth camping, well, this is his words now, I'm not, this is not my, this is him said this, so I'm not stealing his, his phrase or anything, but he says, store your food in the supermarket. And exactly because they're everywhere. What's the point in buying all this stuff here, putting it in there, trying to keep it cold, to take up space? There's as there's every time you go to, there's an as there's a Tesco, there's a Lidl, there's a Sainsbury's, there's one of them anyway. And you're, if you're van life and you're on the road, and like I've I've got to seven o'clock today, and I have a lot of time to kill. I'm actually off work for a change. Yeah, we're doing a video that I'm off work. Brilliant. So, yeah, it's something to do. They go over to us to get your stuff, come back, cook it, you know, clean up all that good jazz. I was really thinking of um, bringing my, my my pan in there and washed it in that sink, but that'd be a bit cheeky, wouldn't it? But what I'm thinking is, in the way in here. flip you around. See sort of just over there, sort of down that direction, there, there's a bit of waste ground there and there's like a lot of old cars not parked in there and there was actually two of those, that one there's one down the road a bit from it. I'm going to go to either one of those two and we're going to cook outside, we're going to cook off Bresco. Um, nice sun, nice bacon. All right, let's get in here, do what we have to do, get what we have to get and get on to the next task. So we're through a bit of a curveball there, out of order, but seal toilet works up there, so that guy nipped in in front of me, sneaky dog. Get our shopping first, then we'll come back, take care of business. So first things first, I need to get a sponge to wash dishes with. This type of idea, but I don't need the, the plastic bit. That's what I'm after. Need some washing up liquid. Cheap and nasty. We'll go for a brioche bat for our bacon bodies. 
And see me missed out on dessert last night. I'll we'll go for chocolate chip cookies. Grab some bacon. Brown sauce. I think I've got some sachets, but we'll do no harm to get one for the van. We'll try um as the extra special. Usually cheap brown sauce, but it's disgusting, so I'm yet to find one that's half decent. Not gonna boil with eggs, don't want any eggs, I eat eggs every single day. So rice bacon body, simple, but effective. Go smoked. Six thick cuts. I think that's it. We've got our stuff to wash the pan and we've got our stuff for our breakfast. We've got uh, some biscuits, some cookies there for and our cup of coffee afterwards. If we need anything else, we'll come back. We need to cook our lunch after all, anyway. Okay, so I'm going to leave this basket here to the side and uh, I'm going to take care of the uh, the most important business of the day, a morning glory. A bit dodgy looking. Can you see how low she's sitting at the back? Supplies are sorted. Let's go and have a roadside cooking experience. Okay, I flew on past the first spot there. Wasn't looking. There was like another bit up here, but I don't know if it'll do, but we'll check it out. Okay, I found a little spot here. We'll get set up. Of course, I did forget something. What did I forget? I forgot to get a mini pan. I planned to get a mini pan. So I cook a bacon first thing here, then wash two pans together, because I need a small pan for the van anyway, but so we need to wash this pan first and then start cooking. We're back on the move again. A forklift pulled up right behind me. Um, lifting stillages or something in that yard place I pulled into there. So, And he hung around for ages watching me. So I got the feeling he didn't want me there. <laughs> so I'm moving on. I'm going to go back to where I cooked the steak last night just. Um, you know, I could just cook in the van anywhere. But I want to get the back keel gate open and stuff and um, cook sort of outside with my, my new little outdoor extension table thing I made. I'm going to try and bag up into the corner or something, but if I can't, I'm sorry, once again, you'll have to just excuse the, the clutch. And the brakes. <laughs> Wee Bilingo. She's just not as healthy as she once was, but she's hanging in there. She is hanging in there. So this is Log Nay. The biggest body of fresh water in Ireland down the UK as far as as far as I know. Correct me if I'm wrong. But it is so calm. I'm telling you sometimes you come down here and it is like you think you're in the middle of the middle of the ocean, the waves, the violence, the power of Mother Nature. Right, let's get cooking. That's a new addition, I don't think you've seen that before. This is the joys. Off you're going to do fan life for real, you have to take care of the mundane tasks. Washing. Baby wipes will get you away with so much. Things back a bit. 
baby wipes will get you away with so much, like cleaning your knives and forks and stuff like that, but baby wipes are never cleaning that. So we'll boil some water and we'll get this on the go. There we go. Here, it's getting cool. I think we'll get on the other fleece. There we go. Bacon's on. Six pieces of Asta thick cut bacon. Smoked. Yes, please. Another thing you can have enough of in your van is antibacterial. If you haven't got a sink, if you've got a sink, put in water, bite it. You can wash your hands with it. I suppose it's the next best thing. Will it be as good as HP? I doubt it. But we'll eat it. We'll eat it anyway. We'll get our water on now, so let's heat it up for the dishes. But, um, that took forever. So it better be worth the wait. Let's do the famous Truesdale TV taste test. Another bite will make our conclusion. Not bad. It's um, a bit more like a fruity taste as opposed to like the vinegar taste you get from HP, or well, to me it's the vinegar, but it's okay. It's like a, a third of the price. Bacon's good, Bob's good, all's good. Right, go chill for a minute, I'll bring these back whenever we're doing the next part of the task, is clean up again. Coffee good to go. And we'll treat ourselves to one of these. Just the one then because we're going to the gym. Mm. All these. Four triple chocolate cookies. Good gear. This is the life all the same. If you could do this and didn't have to work, you know, like of all the time in the world here, if I could get um passive source of income coming in, you really could do. You could travel the world in your little van. And um, obviously the bigger the van, the more um, pleasant it would be. 
But here, you could make this work. But, like, you know, it's a bit of a flaff. You see dishes and all that sort of stuff and getting dressed and all. But you could make it work. I'm going to chill here for a minute. Finish this. And um, a stink of bacon, steak, and all sorts. So we're going to go to the gym, do that cardio, and um, get a nice shower. And then when we're there, we'll use the toilet and all again too, you know. Well, what time is it now? It is. It's only half eleven. The day is young. So I have a good lot of hours to go through yet. But the time I get to the gym, and um, get it, once I finish this, the time I get to the gym and get in, probably about half 12, 1 o'clock from there, in there for an hour and a bit or whatever, that'll be a good bit of time up for us. Get us closer to the 20 past 7 mark for our full 24 hours. But I'll see you at the gym, unless something spectacular happens before that. We have just pulled up at the gym, just after one. I'm going to go in here and do a bit of a cardiovascular workout. No weights, just cardio. And get a nice shower. And um, there's no um, excuses why you can't be clean and healthy while on the road. 24 hour gyms, there's lots of them. I feel good after that, I feel brand new, nice and clean, fresh, ready to go another day. Um, really, it's a, an essential, a gym membership for van life, definitely. But oh yeah, time check. 20 past two, so we have five hours to go. And that's the full 24 hours living from the van. So, what's next for me, right? I have a few things I need to do, so for one, have my laptop here. I need to edit some videos. So I'm going to do that. That will take some time. And also, I've set myself a challenge. I have to read at least 10 pages every day. And this is what this is the book I've won now. I just started this one. This is The 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. I just finished the last one there. What was it? Living Like a Monk. I forget who writes that. And it was just okay, but I have high hopes for this one, it gets good recommendations, but if you have any um, recommendations for any good books, leave them below. I will definitely check them out. Now, as for lunch, because it's, it's so late now and we had a big breakfast there, we're just going to go for a protein shake for lunch, because it's getting close to dinner time. So I'm going to try this for you. And this is four pounds. Four pounds. What? A wee bottle of milkshake? It's grenade protein shake fudge brownie flavour. It's freezing cold, so protein drink is so much better when it's cold. Let's check. This gives you a true steel TV score out of 10. Oh my goodness. That is first class, high protein, low sugar, 37 grams of protein, 500 ml, it's so thick, it's like, like it's milk syrup, you know the consistency? No, well, I would definitely recommend that, it's, it's very expensive, it's £4, it's, you know, it's on the dear side, but it's not something I drink all the time, it's just it's convenient, and it'll keep me going until I get my dinner. And what would I give that out of 10? I would give that a solid eight because that is for a protein drink. That is delicious. That's probably one of the best protein drinks I've ever had. So there you go. High recommendations. Okay, I'll bring you back for dinner 
I'm going to get stuck into these two things and um, time dinner. Time to get dinner and get cleaned up and all. That should be our 24 hours as good as over. And we'll give our verdict on the van life. Later. We're back on the road again. Half four. And did I forget that that car park we were in there was a three hour limit. So we're, we're about 25 minutes over there. So hopefully I don't get no fine. So there's another parking right close to here where we're going to finish up a remainder a uh, few hours but I just need to go to the garage here and grab a few bits and pieces here for our dinner I had planned just to grab some cooked chicken in the garage there and add it either to my pasta I have in there or noodles and just have a, I thought it would be a cheap meal but the chicken was nearly £3 and I thought, you know, for the sake of another £1.70 I have a complete meal so I got a chicken curry and rice and a ten of iron brew and that's dinner If you um, know how I can fix that squeak, please let me know Please let me know because I've tried everything. I've sprayed all sorts of lubricants and WD-40s up in around the, the clutch. Mm, I was hoping there was one that was against the hedge but goes down here is the best of a bad situation. We'll just go here. There we go. We'll cook this in a pot. Nice handy wee meal to cook. These little meals here are so handy and convenient for camping. The thing is, they are pricey, but it's all good to go, you know. One pot meal. We're nearly good to go. Best of gear. Nothing special, but it'll fill a hole, it'll keep us going. Just checking curry and rice. But what's it taste like? That's the question. Roast and hot, what it tastes like. Not bad, nothing wrong with that. That'll do us nicely for dinner. So, time check. Eleven minutes past five. Eat your dinner, and then get the kettle on, the dishes, and we won't be too far away from quitting time. I'm going to watch still game here. I'll see you in a minute or two. Time check. It wasn't just one man who Seven minutes to past six. Months. We're getting there. No. 1923. Over 24 hours. Being self sufficient. Like a van lifer. How did it go? Yeah, it was. It was fun. 
did enjoy it. It was a good little experience and um, a wee bit of drama. I think we already said it before in the video, but I ended up through it, I have to turn and sleep up that end, which isn't really designed to have my head behind this seat. Uh, just because of the piece I put in, it, my arm fell into it. It was a bit uncomfortable. And the reason why I slept that way is because the van was on a slope and the back end is sitting low since I got the new axle in. But other than that, it was grand. You know, it's grand. And um, I guess that I would, I think I would try and plan it more so I don't have to do washing up every time with the whole boiling water after every meal and washing up. I did see uh, a guy, Storm Dancer channel. Um, it's a boat channel. He um, put tin foil into like a pan and cooked it in an omelet. And um, I'm gonna try something like that and see because that would be, you know, that would really cut down in the mess, would save a lot of time. Um, so it's worth a try. I think of the like, recipes and things I could do that with, and research can you even do that with the likes of meat. Can I do that? Can I put that in a pan and cook meat on that, or would it melt? Who knows? We'll find out. You know, I'm blabbering on the way I always do. We're going to stick to a fortnightly release of videos. Gives me time to edit them and, you know, do all the things that us YouTubers have to do. Thank you very much for watching this far. You're legends. Legends, I mean that. So I'm going to head home now and um, get this van ready out. Get it back into driving mode for the school runs tomorrow. And I will see you on the next adventure. So once again, thanks very much for watching this far. If you could, please get a, a, a few seconds spare and hit that like button. And if you want to throw a wee comment down there, it really helps me. Helps try and push the video out. Let's YouTube know that people enjoy this sort of stuff and they're watching at the end. But anyway, I'm preaching. Uh, you all know the score with that. One more thing to say. Keep her stealth.